sounds great, right? I would say it sounds magnificent. Listen to that real live drum kit smashing the hell out of this style. Hello dear friends, welcome to Dynamics Audio channel. Now, before you call me crazy for comparing what usually feels like apples and oranges, please stay with me and I will explain this unusual title and I promise you it's not a clickbait. First, let me say that everything can be compared. AKX10 and Event are both Ranger keyboards meant to be used by amateurs or professionals. So if you forget about the price, those two instruments can be compared easily, as the price shows us only one small aspect of the complete picture. So please stay with me, I will make it all clear to you very soon. So we all know about Catron Event. It's a magnificent piece of engineering that costs like a used car. We all heard online demonstrations, voices, styles and how it sounds better than anything else on the planet, right? Well, let me tell you some things that no one is talking about. Very important things if you want to buy Catron Event and use it professionally or even as an amateur. Please keep in mind that this video explains the state of things at this very moment. It's uh, the beginning of March 2023, so some things may got updated or changed in the future for both keyboards. Let me start with the main board. The first thing you notice is the lack of buttons for the arranger section. There are only three buttons that are used for both intros and endings. This might sound like a minor inconvenience, but professional players need as many variations as possible, so often they use some custom-made styles with generic intros that serve as variations, and they do for endings the same as well. The fact that Catron Event has only three buttons that share functionality makes their lives very difficult. It is made in such a way that buttons work as intro buttons if the arranger is not playing, but if the arranger is playing they work as endings. There is also a soft button on the screen to reverse this, so it is possible to do what I previously described to use the intros again while style is already playing, but it is incredibly slow and complicated process. The keyboard is large enough to hone way more physical buttons, especially important ones that are used all the time. like. Arranger controls, for example. Look how it is well organized and put together on Medelli AKX10. Of course, this is somewhat a copy of Yamaha's workflow, but hey, no need to complicate simple things. If it's not broken, then don't try to fix it. When we talk about important buttons, let me show you the next major flaw. There are no fill-in buttons, but only one that plays different fills depending on variation you use. This is far from perfect, so limiting and complex without a good reason again. There is an option to have the autofill when you press the variation button, just like Yamaha or Korg, but again, this is a default setup and to change this you need to go into the menu, so no physical button to turn it on or off, while again, there is enough room on the keyboard for this and many other buttons. Here on Medelli AKX10, we still don't have the separate buttons for fills, however, they give us the auto fill on and off button so we can turn it on or off easily without need to enter deep into menus. Also, the layout of the arranger controls button is so much better and easier to read. Finally, the quality of the buttons. They look and feel like they came straight from the 80s. They are sharp, stiff very uncomfortable to use, not responsive enough, as sometimes you press the button, but nothing happens, so you need to press it harder, which makes it even less comfortable, and be sure you will in some point either break the button or break the micro switch below. The AKX10 has rubber buttons, very soft to the touch, but firmly set in place. By contrast, event buttons are all unevenly set on the main board, with some being higher than others and some of them not in line, really. Those rubber buttons on Medelli AKX10 work every time you press them, there is no need to be aggressive, but even if you are, there is nothing to break as those rubber buttons will outlive the cheaply sounding and horribly feeling micro switches that are often used on quote unquote flagship models. Again, the lack of buttons. There are no plus or minus buttons, so everything is done with the wheel exclusively. Oh, the wheel. It's not precise and often goes backwards when you want it to go forwards, so selecting something on the fly while playing is a real pain, especially because it is coupled with the operating system that doesn't help you determine where you are at the moment 
and what you are doing. But let me talk about this later and keeping the best for the end. On Medali AKX10 you have the wheel of course, but there are plus and minus buttons, so you can easily go one plus or one minus, whatever you are doing in the moment. You need the tempo change by one BPM, sure. You need to advance one sound or one style up or down in the list, no problem. So simple, so brilliant. There is only one row of buttons for both sounds and styles. This is incredibly frustrating. When you want to access styles, very often you change the voice or vice versa. The buttons on the right change sounds or styles depending on what is selected on the screen. So you must look at your screen or be on the right screen to be able to see what will change when you touch those buttons. Incredibly complex and time consuming when you need to change something on the fly while playing, singing and reading the lyrics for example. Medelli AKX10 has this separated and very logically organized. You have your styles on the left, your sounds on the right, and what makes it miles ahead of Catron event, it has hardware buttons for performances or registrations, while on Catron you need to use the screen again. Not only that, but AKX10 has a bank button that can be used to change the bank of the registration easily, while Catron event can do it only with the wheel, and only by driving the wheel through all other registrations to get your desired registration. Please keep in mind, Catron event has four banks with over 1000 registrations in each of them. So you need to drive the wheel like crazy, thousands and thousands of registrations to find the registration you need. It is really painful. Let's end the button horror story with the layout. Things are not organized well for us humans on Catron event. The buttons are not grouped, even the main ones for the arranger section. It is very difficult to learn where is what, and in the dark it is impossible to find the buttons that are not lit, while those that are lit shine so strong directly in your face, it is almost impossible to use it in the dark. The AKX10 is very well organized. Well, because it uses almost the same layout as Yamaha, but then again, there is no need to fix something that's not broken. And the last thing, the power button. You need to press it so deep to turn the instrument on and off, but the problem is that the edges are so sharp that it gets very uncomfortable very fast. Medelli, again, has some soft rubber button easy to access and press. <laughs> it is simple, just when you think that no one can do the power button wrong, here it is on Catron even cutting your fingers on a regular basis. The sliders. I often talk about the sliders and faders on Arranger keyboards and how useless they are, as they are not properly implemented. So for example, Yamaha Genos has many sliders and knobs, but they all have physical hard stops. And when you change the registration, the slider stays physically, for example, on its 90% to the right, but registration puts the digital value to 28. Then, as soon as you touch the slider, the digital value jumps from 28 to 90% to the right, which is around 110 digital value, and then it starts working for you. This is nonsensical, really. It's not good implementation of the knob, slider and fader, and this makes it unusable in real-life situations. Basically, they are present just to raise the price of the instrument, while costing little to make. But Catron finds a way to do it even worse. They made the sliders and faders with the hard stops as well. However, their registrations don't change the digital value, but read it from the slider position. This makes it much more difficult to use, as faders are so short to be used precisely. Also, if you made a mistake by driving the physical fader too much, you can't restore the saved position in the registration by pressing the registration button. First, there is no button and second, the operating system will not listen to your saved registration as the physical failure is set to some position that the operating system obeys blindly. On Genos or Korg PA you can put the sliders all the way down and not use them, so you always have the digital value, say within a registration or keyboard set, but here it is not possible to do it and you need to play with the faders all the time because they will always move by themselves when you put the keyboard in bag or take it out. The Medelli AKX10 is the only arranger with this implemented well. 
as they do not have the analog knobs with physical hard stops, but you can turn them indefinitely. And the only thing that changes are those LEDs that show you where your setting is approximately. So when you change the registration, the digital value changes as well, and also the LED position. Why is this so difficult to understand by all major brands? It is really beyond me. Let's talk now about the screen, the operating system design and solutions. First, let me say something about this display. It is way too small for the price. It is not able to raise or tilt, although it is the newer generation technology than what is installed on Genos, for example. This one is capacitive and better to use. Yay, a win for Catherine event. Or is it? But not so fast. Medeli AKX10 has it as well, the same size and the same technology, just much better implemented. Again, more about it follows. The operating system design is horrendous. First, let me start with the colors. You can choose some accent color saturation. However, the main background color of every combination is simply white, which makes it so hard to the eyes, impossible to work on in the night as it blinds you, so you see the before mentioned buttons much more difficult. Yes, there is a brightness option, but this doesn't help you much with the contrasts when you play at night or dark venues. This only thing makes this keyboard really unusable in most situations professional use their keyboards. It's in the dark. Then the contrasts of the interface are badly designed as well. You have a bright white background, then there is a bright yellow button on it, all together with the bright text on the button, a recipe for disaster really. The operating system design is so bad, it hardly compares with anything on the market today and 30 years in the past. And finally, fonts, labels, buttons, they are all over the place. Nothing is uniformed. You have a screen with three or four buttons all over the place, a lot of empty space on the screen, but in the edges of the screen, you have small font acronyms for some functions, and there is no way to know what the button is used for. The operating system is so badly organized and designed, like it was made by people who never used or even seen an electronic device with the graphical interface. The Medelli AKX10, again, it took so much from Yamaha, but this is simply the way the keyboard operating system should look and feel. The colors can be changed if you need, the background, margins and contrasts are very good. Everything is readable and uniformed. The operating system is made without any tabs or banks. There is no way to change the tab from 1 to 8, for example, but you need to use the wheel for everything. For example, you want to find a voice and there are small numbers that tell you the location. For example, we are on the page 1 out of 46. So if you want to change the page, you will need to rotate the wheel like crazy. No tabs, no plus and minus for tabs, no easy way to locate a style or voice. And those small numbers are so difficult to see while playing live, it is impossible to use the keyboard this way. The AKX10 has this done correctly, again. There are banks for styles and sounds, however, you have tabs at the bottom that can be accessed easily. Also, the screen is much better organized and finding things is easy and straightforward. Okay, logistically, the event is a nightmare, but the arranger is good, right? Wrong. The arranger is also very problematic. First, let me start with latency. There is a latency every time you press the keys to start the style with the synchro start button enabled. This not only makes it difficult to use while playing with other people in a band, but makes the synchro start and stop functions impossible to use. Let me show you. Medelli AKX10 does this right, which is to be expected, as this is some basic stuff, really. Not only that, but the synchro start and stop works well. Let me show you. So 
sometimes the keyboardists don't play intros and endings every time, especially during weddings when everyone is dancing. They simply go from one style to another, from one registration to another. However, all the hell breaks loose when you try to do it on Catron event. Tracks go out of sync, tempo doesn't change or doesn't match, one track is playing shuffle, another straight and so on. There are many ways it can make a mess just a moment after you change the style or registration. The AKX10 has a well-implemented arranger, latency basically doesn't exist when you press the keys, changing styles while playing have no glitch at all, you can abuse the keyboard by changing things and touching all the buttons with everything working perfectly all the time. It is a normal arranger keyboard. There is some strange behavior when you play chords with your left hand. When you raise the keys, the arranger changes the chord to the last finger you released. Also, there is no way to play with one finger 1 plus 8 chords, as it always plays the major. As you can imagine, AKX10 has this working correctly. You don't need to be much careful with your timing so all the fingers release keys in the same millisecond. The keyboard doesn't change the chord based on this. Also, you can normally have a simple one finger 1 plus 8 chords, as with any other arranger keyboard since basically always. Catron event has the arranger play mode all the time active, so there is no button to turn it off and get the right voices to the full keyboard. For example, you finish the song and need to press the button to allow you to play the full keyboard of the sounds you are using for the right hand, for example strings. Instead it has a pianist mode, which in theory does this, but when you press the pianist button the voice changes to piano, from whatever voice you had previously, we had strings for example, also the volume changes, there is some audible glitch following the change. The Medelli AKX10 has only one button that separates two modes, arranger play and full keyboard play. Only one button to press to turn off the arranger and set the main voices you already use to the full keyboard. It works exactly like Yamaha, simple and effective. There is a sampler with one gigabyte of memory if I remember well, and there is a style creator for making and editing styles. However, Sample format is closed and used only by Catron, so creating multi samples outside is not possible directly. Although it can import SF2 format, the sampler options are very limited, with, for example, no note off for layers. There are only four layers and very slow and clunky workflow. The interface is also very bad. Styles can be edited by using internal audio loops and tracks, however, making a style from scratch on a computer is possible only for MIDI drum loops not by creating a complete MIDI programming with MIDI markers and importing it as a complete style. You can make styles on the keyboard, but the interface is so bad and not intuitive that it makes creating styles miles away from advanced editing possible on the computer and any DAW. Sampling abilities of the AKX10 are incredible. It is even better than what can be done on Yamaha Genos. In some parts it is better than any Korg PA arranger. Medelli Grand Suite software offers so many options for sampling, like a note off for every of the 40 oscillators it can have, ADHSR envelopes not only for every oscillator and layer, but for every and each sample, which is unheard of. Style Creator is nothing to write home about like on every other keyboard, but it offers some basic CASM abilities that original Yamaha style editor doesn't offer, while being based on the same architecture as Yamaha, it seems to me. Medelli uses Yamaha style structures, so creating styles on the computer in any DAW is a breeze, and the right way to do it, really. Registration on Catron event are the same as registration on Yamaha, keyboard sets on Korg or performances on Medelli AKX10, and they are very useful for recalling many settings with just one press of a button. The best thing with Yamaha registrations is that we can save the registration only to change the voice, while others can be saved to change everything else – style, tempo, transpose, multipads, and so on. This is brilliant as we can prepare our registrations and don't touch the freeze or lock buttons. The registration will change only what is saved within it. Korg and Medelli don't have this function, but we need to use the lock or freeze button to be able to recall only certain things. For example, we recall one registration that sets everything for a song, then press the freeze or lock button and select another registration to recall only the voices from it. One button press more than Yamaha, but still perfectly usable and simple, 
as all those keyboards have this freeze or lock button right in front of you. Catron Event doesn't have this button, but you need to enter the horrendous menu system and find this function somewhere. Then list throughout multiple screens that are very difficult to understand whether they are locked or unlocked when the button is lit. And then go back and continue playing. It is incredibly difficult and complex. Medeli AKX10 and Yamaha has this direct access and shortcut button, so when you want to access the page where the freeze or lock button is set, just press the shortcut button and then the lock or freeze button and you will get all info on what is locked and what not. Not only that, but you can entirely turn on or off this lock list by pressing only one button located right in front of you, no need to go deep into menus. Catron event sounds brilliant, this is the point, right? Well, yes and no. When you unpack it from the box and turn the power on by pressing deeply that sharp metal button and cut your finger, play some audio styles, then yes, it sounds really good. But then you notice it doesn't slow the tempo much. After 5 or 7% the audio loops sound weird as the algorithms are not the best. This didn't change from Audia, for example, it also sounded strange with its stretching. The worst thing about it is that it could be very simple to give the user an option not to preserve pitch of the drums while changing tempo. This could make them usable even for 25 to 30% slower than the original tempo. It's a simple thing to do for the operating system, but Catron didn't bother. Medeli AKX10 doesn't sound brilliant out of the box, also it doesn't have any audio styles included, nor it is designed to run audio styles natively. However, it has some great sampling abilities and there is a way to get the audio drums for your styles. The price of this keyboard is so low that you can invest in some custom-made packs that can deliver audio drums and have some great sampled instruments and custom-made styles that will bring this affordable instrument right there with the event. Sometimes it will sound even better depending on material available. Remember that song from the intro of this video? Well, that was Medeli AKX10 actually, <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Here it is again, but now with me playing it so you can see and hear that beautiful audio drum loop smashing the fills and higher variations. Enjoy! So why I created this video? This is not about Medeli AKX10 really, that keyboard speaks for itself well enough. I use it for comparison only because it costs many times less than Catron Event while doing many things right. So it's not about the Medeli, but I made this video simply because I was so disappointed with Catron Event and how bad it is in every possible way. It is so bad 
that it gets really depressing very fast and I cannot stand it more than 30 minutes per day. It is really not usable for any serious player that wants more than what the factory gave him, even that the factory pack is flawed, buggy and very badly implemented. But about anything else, it feels offensive to spend this amount of money for a such unfinished product and this is my major complaint. Should you then buy Medeli AKX10 instead? As I said, this is not about Medeli. So I really don't care what you buy or what you use. I'm giving you all the important information so you can choose what is right for you. Don't shoot the messenger. Choose wisely and do not stop creating good music. Ciao.